Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Forex Edition Tip Jar. I'm Scott Luthold. This is the show where we pull a tip out of the jar and we share that information with you in 15 minutes or less. So let's get started. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about how to get your girlfriend or significant other to go camping with you. This is a very common question that I get asked by a lot of my subscribers and also by some of my friends. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to get your partner to go camping with you. So first and foremost, the very first step in getting your partner to go camping with you is very simple, don't be a dick. It's really easy to ask somebody to do something with you and if they don't wanna do it, they get negative, which is gonna cause you to get negative and when you're both negative, things spiral out of control and that's just not good. My partner's told me about her past camping experiences and she pretty much said that it was an awful experience because the partner she went with the whole time was just a total dick. So first and foremost, don't be a dick. Step number two, check the weather. If you're planning on going camping in a particular place, and you check the weather right before you leave and you're all packed up and you see that it's gonna rain, don't go. Either choose somewhere else to go or skip the trip altogether and plan it for another time because you really only have one chance to get it right. And if the weather's crappy and you're out there and you don't have the proper gear and equipment, which I'll get to in a second, um, they're just gonna hate it and they're never gonna wanna go again. Okay, step number three, camp in a campground. If you're not an avid camper, you don't know necessarily where you're going, you're not really used to camping off grid, uh, you don't have all the right equipment or whatever, camp in a campground. Uh, your partner's gonna appreciate it a lot more, the fact that there's a bathroom, there might even be a shower, there's a fire pit, uh, there's a picnic table and whatnot, and it'll be a, a more enjoyable experience for them. However, if you are an avid camper and you know what you're doing, you have an overland setup or something like that, and your partner's never camped before, definitely camp off-grid. And the reason I say that is because when you camp off-grid and you go somewhere very peaceful and calm, it's just a very tranquil experience and they're gonna enjoy that a lot and it allows you to be you and for her to be her and uh, if you have to change your clothes outside and whatnot it's it's a free-for-all it's really not a big deal so um, if you're not an avid camper camp in the campground if you are an avid camper find a really great spot off the grid to camp all right number four don't expect her to read a map or do any navigation whatsoever I, I tell you if you don't know where you're going don't go you need to know exactly where you're going. You need to know exactly how to get there. You need to know exactly what turns to take because if you're gonna count on your partner to read a map or to do any navigation whatsoever, and that's not something they're all that used to doing, all it's gonna do is create stress around your experience. And if it's starting to get late at night and you haven't found your spot yet, it's just gonna create stress and they're gonna hate it. So definitely count on your own self to find where you're gonna go. Don't expect them to read any maps. All right, number five, prepare to do everything period, and do it with a smile. Reality is, if you're going with a female partner or somebody who's a stay-at-home partner, they're the ones that are pretty much doing a lot of the cooking, they're doing a lot of the cleaning, they're doing a lot of the grocery shopping and all of that, and this is gonna be a chore for them if they're going camping with you. So frankly, you're just gonna have to take care of it all yourself. Plan all the meals, go out to the grocery store and buy all the meals, pack up the car, set up the camp, and do it all with a smile. Even if you're stressed out, even if you're tired, do it with a smile because this is again the first experience it's something you want your partner to experience and enjoy and you only have one chance to get it right so to extend a little bit further on the notion that you need to do everything when you go out and grocery shop make sure you bring enough food and make sure you bring good food bring things that you know they enjoy to eat make sure you bring some dessert women like dark chocolate people like to have things that are indulgent so bring some of that stuff along so it's a great experience make sure you bring their favorite wine make sure you bring their favorite beer make sure you um, bring their favorite snacks. The more you plan ahead and the better you plan ahead and the more you know your partner and bring along the right stuff, the happier they're gonna be, the happier they are, the more they're gonna enjoy the experience and wanna do it again. All right, number six, once you get things set up out there, you wanna create an ambiance. Get some candles, bring some candles out there and just set up some nice candles, get a nice campfire going, put a blanket down on the ground next to the fire, nice place for you to sit and relax and enjoy each other's company. Create an ambiance. One of the things I like to do to create an ambiance is to bring a hammock. Definitely bring a two-person hammock because if you string up a nice hammock and during the day they're asking you, okay, what are we gonna do today? There's a lot of things that you can do, uh, bring games along and things like that. But uh, if you bring a hammock and you bring some books and uh, you each choose an end of the hammock to lay in and swing in the hammock, read some books, drink a little wine, put on a little music, now you're creating some ambiance. It's something they're really going to experience. If the weather's really nice, there's a nice sun out, or it's too hot out and you're in the shade, swinging in the, swinging in the hammock in the trees, uh, they're really going to enjoy that. It's going to create a memorable experience. So bring yourself a two-person hammock. All right, so if you're going to go camping off the grid, bring yourself a decent toilet. They're going to love you for it. Create a whole system for them where they have wipes, they have toilet paper, they've got a decent cassette toilet or some kind of a platform toilet to sit on. 
where uh, they've got a private space out in the woods and um, they're comfortable doing what they need to do out there and, and perform their business. All right, next up, bring some games along. Bring a deck of cards. A lot of people like to play games. Uh, it's an enjoyable experience. It passes some time. It can be a lot of fun. If you bring a deck of cards, you can play some poker. You can bring some, um, some dice and play some dice games. You can bring a couple board games. You can bring some outdoor activity things like, um, uh, you know, lawn darts or, um, you know, sometimes you can bring dart boards, different things like that. Bring some things along to do uh, that can be enjoyable for both of you. Maybe bring a fishing pole if you both like to fish, whatever it is, bring it along. When you have your partner along, praise them. Give them some positive kudos for helping out. Um, you know, give them a good uh, pat on the back for sleeping well through the night and camping through an experience. Maybe they were afraid of the dark or whatever it is. Just give people some positive reinforcement. A lot of times that goes a long way, even if you're a little bit stressed out, your partner's a little bit stressed out, a little positive reinforcement goes a long way to make, a, make the experience a little bit better. All right, next up. Considering the kitchen is your kitchen and you're making all the meals, plan on doing all the cleanup, washing all the dishes. That doesn't mean that your partner can't help out or, all, or volunteer to help out. You can throw them a towel and they can do the drying while you do the washing. But frankly, I'm sorry, this is your, your trip. It's your experience. You're gonna do all the shopping, you're gonna do all the cooking, and you're gonna do all the cleanup. And if they help out, that's a bonus. All right, so what can you do when you're out there? Plan some things to do. Find out what's going on around the place where you're going camping. If there's some nice hiking trails that you can take, uh, or if there's um, a town not too far away and you could spend one afternoon maybe in town at some kind of a farmer's market or festival, whatever it is, find a few things to do so that you're not sitting there bored and they're twiddling their thumbs and saying they hate it. Now, a lot of times if somebody's got a lot going on in their lives, they'll find that when they get out into nature, it's really peaceful. They love relaxation. They'll take naps during the day. They'll swing in the hammock while you're cleaning the dishes. But the reality is they're enjoying themselves and that's really the primary effort here. Take somebody on a trip, get them out camping, and have them enjoy themselves. All right, so when you're out there, make sure you take some pictures and shoot some video because when you're back in town and uh, you want to take your partner on another trip, if they forgot how enjoyable it was, you can send them some pictures and remind them just what a great time you had out there and um, tell them that the next time around is going to even be better. All right, so next up, give your partner some reassurance. Make sure that they know that everything's going to be okay and you got their back. A lot of times I've gone camping in the past with partners where they were afraid of the dark. Maybe they were afraid of animals showing up in the camp or some lunatic popping out. And uh, give them some reassurance that you've got their back, you've got them protected, and you've got a plan B in case something does go wrong. And uh, it just gives them a lot of confidence and comfort and peace of mind that you've got things taken care of and that they're safe. All right, next up, sleep in comfort. Don't bring a two-person dome tent that you just picked up from Walmart. I know if you don't really have a lot of money, you can't afford a, a nice quality tent, uh, things can be a little difficult to uh, get the proper sleeping system. But I've definitely had friends go camping with me where they brought a big ass tent and it wasn't a very sturdy tent. It blew over in the wind in high winds and it was pouring rain and they ended up going home three o'clock in the morning drenched, had an awful time. But uh, if you're gonna buy a tent, buy something that's sturdy, buy something that has enough room in, in case uh, you do have some foul weather, you can stand up, you can move around a little bit. Or if you're gonna sleep in the back of your vehicle, Make sure you bring the proper sleeping mats, bring sleeping bags, bring real pillows. Don't bring camp pillows on your first camping trip. Bring a comfortable pillow so your partner has a comfortable night's sleep. Uh, bringing the right equipment, the right gear is essential to having a quality experience when you're taking somebody camping for the first time. All right, next, leave the kids at home. If you've got kids or your partner's got kids and they're stepkids or it's your girlfriend and they've got kids, whatever it is, leave the kids at home the first time. Go on a camping experience with your partner alone That'll create a quality experience, allows them to be able to assess what it'll be like taking their kids camping, especially if their kids have never camped before. I took my partner camping um, first and foremost, and then after she and I went camping, we ended up taking her boys camping and they had a really great time. And I made sure that I took care of everything when she and I went camping alone and when I went camping with her kids, because I wanted to make sure that everybody had a really great time and uh, people didn't come away from it hating camping. And that brings up another point. If you do take kids along on a second trip, know that the kids are probably gonna be afraid of bugs. I had an experience where I had the kids sleeping in the back of the car and they were using some technology in the back of the car on their phones. And when it got dark out, the glow of their phones and iPads and things like that actually drew bugs in and I had windows open and they just freaked out. It was just uh, not a great experience for them. Other than that, they had a really nice experience. All right, last but not least, don't complain. It is okay if they complain. Your job is not to complain. If they complain, 
Don't complain that they're complaining. That's just gonna make matters worse. What you wanna do is mitigate the issue as quickly as possible. If they're complaining, address the concern, move on. Remember, your job is to not be a dick. All right, so if you follow these guidelines the first time around, I think you're probably gonna have a pretty good experience. And usually that leads to a quality experience the second time around as well. I wouldn't expect that you're gonna to have to do all of these things yourself the first time or the second time, but it's not your partner's job, it's your job. If they opt to help out with um, packing, with any logistics, with cooking and cleaning, whatever the case may be, that's their choice, it's not their obligation, that's yours. And uh, the second time around, they may help out and you'll have uh, even a better experience between the two of you. If you haven't subscribed to the Four Expedition channel, I encourage you to do that. And if you'd like to be notified of upcoming videos, be sure to click the notification button. And as always, if you'd like to support Four Expedition, go to patreon.com slash Four Expedition. Your support goes a long way to creating quality content for this channel. Until the next time, take care. Thank you.